who doesn't miss Manado cuisine? Especially for immigrants who live in the middle of the wilderness of Jakarta. Of course, sometimes they miss the distinctive taste of Manado, one of the province of North Sulawesi. It's hidden in the middle of a district filled with various culinary delights, but don't worry, because it's still easily accessible for foodies. The name of the restaurant, which was founded in 2005, is Naisa. This restaurant is about 15 minutes from the MRT station. The location is next to the Pondok Cabe Airport area. Uh, ini saya sudah mulai usaha dari tahun 2005. Uh, Adam, sepupu saya sama ipar saya, sepupu saya juga pintar masak dan kita sama-sama dari Manado. Jadi saya buka restoran ini dari 2005 dan kenapa saya pilih restoran Manado karena saya uh, memang ber aslinya dari Manado. Papa saya Jawa, mama saya Manado, tapi saya lahirnya di di Manado dan saya punya hobi hobi saya memang senang masak gitu karena sepupu saya juga senang masak jadi kita klop lah jadi kita uh, ayo kita buka restoran Manado coba-coba karena di sini banyak restoran Manado tapi akhirnya tutup gitu setahun setahun tutup kenapa mereka tutup saya juga nggak tahu gitu jadi uh, Coba deh kita gitu restoran Manado jadi pertama awal mulanya ini kita bukan di sini tempatnya saya di Cirenderaya, tapi karena tempatnya kurang kurang strategis ya, kurang kurang bagus. Uh, jadi saya pas di sini ada taman kuliner, saya lihat-lihat, saya coba di sini. Tapi alhamdulillah sudah berjalan di sini kira-kira tujuh tahun. Gitu. What distinguishes this restaurant from other Manado restaurant is that this restaurant serves a menu that is guaranteed to be halal so that Muslim customers can enjoy it with their Christian friends without worrying because the ingredients used are guaranteed to be fresh, authentic, and also halal. Beberapa ya, salah satunya panada. Itu panada udah sampai ke luar negeri, pada beli terus bawa ke Amerika, Belanda. Terus uh, bubur menado, itu banyak yang seneng, terus uh, kuah asam kuah asam kuah asam kepala kakap The first menu we will taste today is sriracha grilled chicken which is one of the mainstay menus in Naisa. Budi caricanya kita uh, tetap cabe ya, bawang putih, tomat gitu ya. Untuk dabu-dabunya kan kita harus pakai tomat dan jeruknya itu ada jeruk yang memang uh, dari Manado itu namanya lemon cui gitu ya. Jadi uh, tapi di sini di supermarket sudah ada sih yang yang jual, tapi saya punya uh, punya tanah dan saya tanam jeruk seperti itu. Jadi dia kalau bikin sambal atau dabu-dabunya, kita pakai jeruk itu, jeruk uh, lemon cui itu namanya. Gitu, ya. grilled chicken in Naisa is different. If you usually use soy sauce, here it uses grilled chili sauce and dabu-dabu which makes the taste so delicious. Usually the order are for office workers and for social gathering activities for mothers. Many people think this delicious menu has an expensive price. But don't worry, because the price offered by Naisa is very adjusted to the surrounding area which is a residential area. However, Naisa does not compromise on quality at all. And the ingredients used are guaranteed freshness, even some of the ingredients already have their own suppliers. The following menu that we will taste is stir-fried kale. Stir-fried kale at Naisa itself has a specialty, namely using green tomatoes, lemongrass, pandan leaves. 
And also, this menu is one of the most popular menus by customers, although according to some people, it can be said to be bitter. It turns out that this is proof that when a customer loves a taste, they will definitely like it. Naisa, the hidden Manadonese restaurant located in the southern part of Jakarta. Now we're going to taste the signature dish from North Sulawesi, which is ayam woku belanga. Saya cerita ciri khasnya, paling kalau saya bilang restoran apa sih? Kalau biasa teman tanya restoran apa, rasanya marah, wah pedes ya, gitu kan? Pedes, dia ada pedesnya, terus kalau uh, apa bubur Manado juga orang kirain bubur cuman bubur aja tapi oh ternyata ada sayurnya gitu kan gitu. terus apalagi ya uh, dia ja, tidak memakai santan ya iya jadi kalau misalnya kuah asam kuah kublanga itu dia tidak memakai memakai santan jadi sehat the chicken woku belanga is basically the same as the seasoning but of course, this is what makes it different from other restaurants. In terms of ingredients, Naisa may be the same as Manado restaurants in general, but the cooking method that is so unique from Naisa is certainly an authentic differentiator between Naisa and other restaurants. Let's see the cooking process. In this woku chicken include shallots, garlic, chili, candle nut, turmeric, and basil leaves. If you want to order in bulk, you need to make a reservation in advance so that it can be prepared. Customers usually immediately praise that this menu tastes delicious, fresh, and tasty. Even the owner does not hesitate to ask customers for input regarding the menu that is served. One of the basic ingredients of the Naisa dish is lemon chui or manado oranges, which are typical of the North Sulawesi region. The reason, of course, is not to be too sour, because if you use lime, it will feel very sharp. In order to maintain quality, this lemon chui is even cultivated on Naisa's land to ensure its freshness. itu ada ciri yang memang e, dari Manado itu namanya lemon cui gitu ya. Jadi e, tapi di sini di supermarket sudah ada sih yang yang jual tapi saya punya e, punya tanah dan saya tanam jeruk seperti itu. Jadi dia kalau bikin sambal atau dabu-dabunya kita pakai jeruk itu. Jeruk e, lemon cui itu namanya. E, ya. In the midst of this pandemic as we all know, many culinary businesses are experiencing ups and downs. Naisa was also experiencing a turbulence caused by this pandemic. Ada, pasti ada ya. Uh, 
pasti ada. Jadi biasanya bisa makan di tempat. Ini kita tidak 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 untuk makan di tempat gitu. Tapi untuk uh, bersyukur kita punya yang untuk online ya pesan makanan GoFood atau Grab. Nah itu luar biasa sampai uh, kita pesanannya terlalu banyak. Kita tutup dulu uh, ininya aplikasinya. Nanti semuanya sudah sudah uh, bisa diatasi, baru kita buka lagi. Kalau enggak kita agak ini keteteran ya orang bilang. Oh, jadi saking banyaknya ini. Tapi alhamdulillah pendapatannya lumayan. Tapi memang ada penurunan, tetap ada di mana-mana pasti ada. Gitu. Pasti ada perubahan lah dari segi jumlah orderannya pasti berkurang selama ada ppkm. Kayak gitu, cuma juga pasti berkurang. Terutama online ya, ojol, ojol pasti berkurang orderannya. Tapi setiap hari pasti ada orderannya. Before we taste our main course, it helps us to prop our stomachs with a snack dish. Okay, now we will try one of the snacks here: corn cake. Corn cakes or bakwan jagung is one of the snacks menu to fill the stomach while waiting for our main course. If in Manado there is one typical snack, namely bakwan with nike fish. However, the corn bakwan served at Naisa is different from the others. Bakwan at Naisa tastes so delicious and looks so crispy without using any other ingredients. Customers also do not leave bakwan jagung as a tandem menu while waiting, and of course, the price is affordable. also have health benefits such as After we enjoy delicious snacks, the taste is still lacking if we don't enjoy this signature Manado dish more delicious especially if we enjoy it with friends. The menu is the head of kakap sour sauce. The head of the tamarind snapper in Naisa has various differences from other Manado restaurants. While other restaurants use tuna, Naisa uses snapper. The taste is so distinctive, fresh and of course also refreshing. The gravy is so delicious if enjoyed when warm and freshly served. Guaranteed your tongue will be so satisfied. Kebetulan lewat tadi, saya mau ke arah pondok cabe. Ya, jam makan siang tadi saya sempetin mampir ke sini. Ada dapat review dari teman, coba rasakan tuh masakan Manado di daerah Cirende, Ciputat, katanya begitu. Tempatnya nyaman, nyaman, enak. Ya, recommended ya untuk untuk masakannya ya. Karena untuk tadi saya coba makan yang woku itu biasanya selalu pedes. 
dan di sini ada variasi jadi bisa mentah yang nggak pedes bisa minta yang pedes seperti itu kalau pedes banget kan kadang-kadang kita nggak kuat untuk untuk satu menu paket seperti itu porsinya cukup banyak ini kalau lewat jangan lupa mampir ke sini apa Nisa ya Naisa ya Naisa Manado Food ini saya rekomendasikan teman-teman yang sekitaran sini nanti. Now we will take a look at the cooking process which includes so many signature ingredients identical to Manado's dishes. The last menu we will taste is Midal. Maybe some of you are curious what Midal is. Midal is basically skipjack noodles mixed with Manado porridge. This menu is still very rare in Jakarta. Generally, people only know about Manado porridge, but Naisa actually invites customers to try Midal or Mi Campur. The price of the Midal package is around 25,000 with a very affordable price that makes your stomach full. Midal is a food that is so unique in our opinion because this Midal is equipped with two types of chili sauce, namely Sambal Mi and Sambal Roa. Are you curious enough? Let's see the cooking process. Midal itself consists of two different foods, namely skipjack noodles and manado porridge, each of which has its own specialty. The mi cakalang itself is stir-fried with fish broth and topped with steamed skipjack which has a very delicious aroma. Unlike noodles from other regions, one of the basic ingredients is fish. Where in the skipjack noodle, the fish is very flavorful and also uses a special type of noodle, namely atombula noodles. This manado porridge tastes very tasty, without oil, and is also fresh. So don't be surprised if this manado porridge feels very good with skipjack noodles. The experience of enjoying Manado specialties at Naisa is certainly very pleasant because in addition to the delicious taste, the price is also affordable. For those of you who want to taste it, don't hesitate to immediately taste the delicious Manado cuisine. <laughs>